GDP is the value of all goods and services produced within a country. It's the broadest measure of economic activity, and it includes private expenditures, government spending, investments, and exports. Let's look at how it's calculated. Here's the GDP formula three different ways. The first approach is called the expenditure approach, and this is the most common, where GDP is equal to all consumption, which is all goods and services that are purchased, plus all government spending, plus investments, plus net exports. The income approach to GDP takes total national income, which is personal income, plus corporate income, plus rental income, etc., plus all sales taxes collected, depreciation, and foreign factor income. To learn more about this, check out the article listed below that has a full breakdown and explanation of these formulas. The third approach is production or value added, which looks at the sum of all value added products during the production process in a nation. Again, all of these formulas are explained in much more detail at the article listed below. Let's talk about the different types of GDP, the different ways to measure it. One way is nominal, which is where all goods and services are expressed in current year prices. This is the most common approach to GDP. When a can of Coke costs a dollar, it's included in GDP as a dollar. 50 years ago, when it used to cost 10 cents, it was listed as 10 cents of GDP. With real GDP, all goods and services are expressed in constant dollar terms meaning the $1 cost of Coke today would retroactively in older years be listed as $1 back then too. It's adjusted for inflation. Actual GDP is real-time measurement of output at any given time in the economy, and potential GDP is the ideal economic conditions where 100% employment and production rates are at the levels they're supposed to be. And if there's a gap between actual and potential, that's the lost opportunity. Now, you might be wondering, what is the value of U.S. GDP, for example? Well, in 2017, the value of all goods and services produced in the United States was $19 trillion.